Hi, man. Talk to talk. 12 o'clock. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. I had to skip that intro too fast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you know, my kids ain't uh ain't ain't say yay. Maybe I'll do it over. Let's do it over. Fuck it. Let's do it over. Yeah. There we go. Gotta give my respect to my kids here. That's right, man. That's right. That's right. I had to get the respect. Look, man. So today's episode, we're gonna be talking about Kendrick. Donald Trump has actually, we don't know if this is true or not. This could be a hack. This could be somebody just posting this. We don't know. But if it is true, it's crazy because Donald Trump has said that he listens to Not Like Us. And he also said that it's crazy how Canadians think they could mess with the U.S. Now, again, this could be fake. I'm just saying, I just think it's funny. Now, if it's true, if it's true, which I don't really believe is true, but if it is true, then it's another level that Kendrick has reached. So look, man, before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. It's absolutely free. The content is free. But if you want to leave a donation and help out the channel, links is on the screen. Cash App, PayPal's in the description. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And I also, I was giving out to all my peers. I was Cash Apping my peers this weekend because they deserve it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say who, but I'm just going to say everybody that I Cash App, thank y'all for being great. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? And keep up the good work. So, look, uh, they called me the Hidden Gem, like I said. Also, too, let me know where you're from. I really appreciate it if you tell me that. So, look, man, we're going to get right to it. This comes from, you know, a clip that we're going to watch. So, let's go. All oh, champ, all oh, champ. This comes from the mayor. You know what I'm saying? I love the mayor channel. His channel's dope. Make sure y'all go follow him. Subscribe to his channel, man. And, yeah, let's go is now pushing Kendrick Lamar by making a tweet about not it out y'all. So Donald Trump, all right, the brand new president of the United States, right, is now pushing Kendrick Lamar by making a tweet about not like us, all right? Pretty much Donald Trump is praising not like us as if it is one of the greatest American songs ever in history, all right? But in the same light, he also seems to be dissing Drake as well. This is crazy. In case you missed that tweet, I'm about to read it to you. So Trump took to Twitter and said these things right here. He says, starting my day by listening. So y'all can see that. I can't really see it. My eyes is bad. But y'all can see it, right? So just make sure y'all can see it. Y'all can screenshot and put it up. <laughs> Right, to not like us by Kendrick Lamar. I love. I love this song, a true American song. I have listened to this song repeatedly. I heard my team sing it after I won, and I thought, "Wow, that's a great song." Funny that the Canadians think that they are better than us. They are not, and Canada is crumbling upon itself, and it's because of this song. Oh shit! Listen. This is crazy, gang. This is what I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that, man. I think that I think somebody, I think that's fake. That's a fake tweet. Somebody hacked his account. I don't know, man. Cause Donald Trump, man, Donald Trump be doing some wild stuff sometimes. Sometimes he I ain't gonna say that's wild. You know what I'm saying? Right, that's wild to say that. That's wild to say that. Donald Trump be doing some wild stuff if he actually listens to rap music. No, that's not that's not right to say that. That's not it's not wild to listen to, to rap music. I'm sorry I said that, but he do be doing some wild stuff, and I'm thinking that maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. If if this is true, this is crazy. This is crazy if it's true, and I think that it's uh, it's very fascinating that we have come to this point where people. Um, do stuff like this. I guess to get attention. I don't know. But 
Let's keep it going. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. So he says that Canada is crumbling because of not like us. Is he trying to take shots at Drake? <laughs> does he feel the same way that Kendrick does? This is kind of wild. For the first time in history, we've never seen a president on my side with a diss track in the hip hop world. This is the first of its kind. This is incredibly historic, insane. Nobody thought that any battle raps would ever go this far, right? I mean, we've seen back to back. We've seen what happened with that and Meek Mill. But this is just a whole different level, man. I mean, we got politics getting involved. We got all types of people getting involved. All types of people speaking on this. Now, I will say this about Not Like Us. It is a record that has transcended. And it's it's it has went so far. And it's like, and, it's, and, and again, this has nothing to do with, with Trump, um, if that's actually true or not. But the record has went so far. Has went. And I guess that's how you say it. Has went so far. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's all over the place. It's everywhere. And I know that it gets people upset, but this is a timeless record. This is it for him. Timeless record, no matter what. This record is 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 solidified. It's it, it to me it's the greatest diss track of all time. If you ask me, sportscasters, all right. So to government officials, this is a crazy thing, man. This is a crazy thing and a tragic thing for Drake. Now I can see why Drake is crashing out the way he is. I can see why he would go to the 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 Scotia Bank Arena with a Raptors play at and try to poke fun at Demar Derozan, etc. I can see why these things are happening because this is crazy, man. If I'm Drake, I'm getting haunted every single day with this nonsense, man. I mean, what is Trump trying to say here? That the Canadians are crumbling, that the Canadians think they're better than us. Clearly, your boy Trump do not rock with Canada. Is he trying to start some America versus Canada stuff? I don't know. I hope not. Well, we already know that Justin Trudeau, I think he's a prime minister still. I'm not sure. But a lot of people don't like that dude. A lot of people don't like him. You know what I'm saying? That's probably the reason why. Now, again, I mean, we preface this. We don't know if this is a real tweet. We just said if this is on True Social, it was a real tweet. We don't know. But if it is, it's magnificent. But it's probably that's the reason why. Justin Trudeau, is, he's, 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 a, he's a, a, a eggplant head. You know what I'm saying? That's what he is. Eggplant head. All right, I like Canada. I like Canadian people. They they they're pretty cool, man. All right, especially the people out there in Toronto. They cool, man. I know quite a few people out there in Toronto. But I hope this is not the case. I hope he's just talking about Drake. But this is politics after all, right? Either way, all right. Listen, whether you like Trump or not, the Key Boy has over twenty thousand games across twenty four retro consoles, including every. Point being is, it doesn't matter who's president. Whoever's president giving you this recognition is a huge thing, right? Huge thing, especially if it seems like they're on the opposing end of, of Canada or Drake, for that matter. Like, they're on the opposing side of your op that you're battling, which is crazy, okay? Insane. He said this is his warm-up jam. This is the song he plays. This is the song he wakes up to. His staff listen to this song. He loves the song, bro. There's absolutely no way Kendrick can get snubbed of a Grammy unless there is a bias based on the dislike for Trump. And I, hopefully that's not the case. I don't want to put that out there, but we just we, we do have to be very alarmed and, and very aware of the, the, the state of things right now. We have rappers who did support this man right now who actually are being, you know, exiled from performing at certain places right now. We got a lot. That's a hundred percent facts. And I don't understand how Man, it's so much. It's so much I want to say on this topic. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna really get political on here. I'm just gonna say that it's just it's it's crazy how it is. It's crazy because a lot of times when you talk to some of these people, they don't really have a reason. They have they have MSNBC my uh brain. That's what they have. But that is what it is. But yeah, man. Let's keep it going for a little bit more. Our rappers who did support Trump 
who are not being able to have shows because they're being canceled because of who they voted for, which I think is unfair. I mean, listen, we all human. We all got the freedom to do whatever we want, choose whoever we want. You shouldn't be penalizing rappers or call yourself penalizing rappers stopping their bag based on who they voted for. You can't control that, right? That's a very controlling thing, all right? Whether, you know, you like the person or not, this shouldn't ever intertwine with business, right? Why let emotions deal with business? You feel what I'm saying? That, that, that's out of pocket. That's out of pocket. I disagree with that 1,000%. No, you're absolutely right about that. You're absolutely right. You shouldn't let... With you know, I remember, I remember when it used to be you didn't tell people who you voted for. I remember that was a private thing. It was like it was sacred. Now the propaganda machine be pushing you to vote for whoever they, whoever their biggest donors telling them to push for. Like you know, what I'm saying Fox got who they want you to vote vote for, and, and MSNBC got you, and CNN got you who they want you to vote for, and they 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 clearly do it. So all of these uh, journalists now are not journalists. They're actually activists now, most of them. A good portion of them are activists. They don't report on the news. They report on how they feel, and they report on how they believe you should feel. And that's another story, but we're going we gonna to skip that. Just saying, he's right about that. And if, if, Trump is, if Trump did do this, I think that that's amazing. I know Obama has something to say about uh, uh, J. Cole and um, Drake and, and um, Kendrick. And I actually have a video um, that I did that I forgot to release because I got so many videos I'm trying to put out. And I'll be trying to put out the, the ones that I think y'all would like first. But I'm just going to start releasing videos. And and I'm going to still do the uh, the timestamp videos too. So uh, let's keep it going. See what else he got to say and then we're going to get out of here. But point being, oh, Kendrick doesn't get snubbed because Trump is pushing this record, you know what I'm saying? I hope that doesn't get into music politics. You feel me? Not to say that Kendrick is supporting him, all right? We don't know who Kendrick is supporting. He's not gonna tell us. For all we know, he doesn't even vote, okay? For that matter, so he don't care. Um, point being is, um, you know, we don't want this being taken the wrong way, you know? And then people start politicking like, mm, we, we not gonna give this guy nothing because of Trump. And you feel what I'm saying? We don't want that negative ripple effect to happen. So hopefully it doesn't, it doesn't, Affect what Kendrick got going on. I think a lot of things will happen that may overshadow Trump talking about Kendrick Lamar later on anyway. However, you know. So I don't know. I don't know if this is real or not, but assuming that it is, that's crazy. Yeah, hey, man. Make sure y'all go follow the mayor, man. All that good stuff. So look, um, I think that that's very interesting that. That song is if if it, if this is true, it's very interesting that that song made it to, made it to the president's desk, and he actually listens to it. If this is true, I think that that's that's pretty pretty that's pretty amazing to me. You know what I'm saying? I think that that's amazing. Um, again, I I don't really believe this is true. I think that the account was hacked. I don't know, or maybe this was a fake AI. I don't I don't see that actually. Trump actually saying that, but if he did, that's that's G. That's G right there. Either way, man, 12 o'clock show over. Y'all, y'all out there have a great uh, day. All that good stuff, man. And also, too, man, um, make sure y'all check out all the other shows that I have done. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all with me all the time, man. I love y'all, man. And I'm gonna keep it going, man. As long as I can. See y'all. This is a clock show coming up.